press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Indian government is ramping up defense cooperation with the United States and will restart a mock combat exercise named Coop India between the US and Indian Air Force. Coop India was first conducted in 2004 and subsequently in 2005, 2006 and 2009 and after which it was abandoned. The move to restart the exercise comes after the participation of Indian Air Force jets in the US Red Flag Alaska exercise for the first time in 2016. The US Department of Defense said that in 2017, the United States expects to relaunch the bilateral Air Force exercise. The US Air Force is also focused on expanding cooperation with the Indian Air Force on C-130Js, transport aircraft capabilities, flight safety, and combat search and rescue. The US has also provided India with proposals for F-16 Block 70 and F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter aircraft, though India has not confirmed whether it will purchase the aircraft. Besides the Air Force level ties, India and the US are also deepening Army and Naval ties. Besides the above three wings, the Modi government has also increased cooperation with the US on anti-terrorism defense by getting India's National Security Guards to train with US Special Forces. Eurojet Turbo GmbH has started working on a new enhanced engine for integration with Eurofighter Typhoon fighter aircraft and also compete to power next-generation fighter jets like India's AMCA program. As per media reports, EJ-200, with 25% additional thrust growth, will be able to compete in Turkey's TFX fighter program and India's AMCA fifth-generation fighter jet engine requirements. EJ-200 turbofan jet engine, in its present stage, can generate 90 kN of dry thrust, and with additional 25% growth projected, it will be able to achieve 112 kN of dry thrust, against India's engine requirement of 115 kN to power AMC a fighter jet. As part of visiting delegation in India, head of defense and security organization, Stephen Phipson had said that the technology demonstrator will be ready in 12 months, and collaboration between the engine maker, Rolls-Royce, and India's DRDO on the engine technology is likely to take place. The Indian Army has selected 11 priority defense projects worth $2.8 billion to be awarded to the private sector to hasten the plugging of critical shortage. The contracts mainly comprise development and manufacturing of arms and equipment, including short-range unmanned aerial vehicles, advanced robotic surveillance systems, 1200 to 1500 HP modular engine for T-90S and third generation missiles for 125 mm gun barrels of T-90 and T-72 tanks. The biggest contract is the manufacturing of modular engine for T-90 tanks, which is pegged at $1.5 billion. Development of short-range remotely piloted aircraft system has an indicative cost of approximately $350 million. The Ministry of Defense has also floated tenders for the supply of 125 mm armor-piercing guns for T-90 and T-72 tanks, 40 mm multiple grenade launcher, 30 mm ammunition used by armored infantry carrying vehicle, 122 mm grad rockets for Pinaka series and bimodular charge system. The Indian Army wants to purchase the robotic surveillance platform for the Rashtriya Rifles Battalions, which primarily tracks terrorist hideouts in urban or built-up areas. In this material world, the things that they